there you guys i'm teddy from bijuteo beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this fringe and double brick stitch fish skeleton earrings if you're not familiar with this stitch don't worry i will show it in easy steps so even if a beginner could make them also please subscribe with the bell like share and comment in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it check description for a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials a lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member thank to all of the members of this channel you are my inspiration Check the membership option in description and at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads, black and white. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use similar sizes, let's say 10 or 12. Here I'm also using scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span and a half of thread on my needle because I want to make the whole earring with one piece of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful black beads. Okay I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail because later I'll put my needle on it, make some knots and cut it. Okay, now what I want to do is as I have these four beads on my needle, I'm going backwards through two of them. And when I pull, you see what I have. I have two columns of black beads. They are side to side touching and the holes are pointing in this direction. Then I go through these other two beads. I take two more black beads. I go backwards through these two. And then again through the newly added two beads. Add two more the same way. A white and a black after that. Then two white beads. A white and a black. And now repeat this at four columns of black beads. Okay, I'm showing you the first column of these four. Add three more columns of two black beads and I'll be back. Okay, and here I have four black, a black and a white, two whites, a white and a black, and here again four black columns. Okay, now I'm going to continue with the brick stitch. Okay, I'm taking two blacks, a white and a black and because in my next row I will have less beads than in this row what I do is that I go under the second thread bridge or I decrease if you're not familiar with this stitch don't worry I will show it step by step so you don't need to understand everything just follow the steps and it will be okay And then I go through these two beads that are closer to the center of my work. Okay, then I want to make a reinforcement of those beads. Go first through the first column of two blacks and then through the second columns of a black and a white. Now I want to take a white and a black. And I'm going under the next thread bridge that I have here these thread bridges that I have between my beads I use them okay now I need four columns of two white beads
and now I'm going to repeat what I have here but the other way around a white and a black repeat And the last column is the same like this one here, and it consists of two black beads. Okay, and I start my row with black and three white beads. And again, because I decrease, I go under the second thread bridge that I have here. So this is the first one between the black and the white. And I'm going under the second white, between, between the next two white beads. And then I go through these white beads that are closer to the center. It is like the regular brick stitch but with two beads instead of one. Then guys, I need a row with only white beads. Okay, I start with four whites. Each row I start with four beads. And as I'm exiting from this black here, I go under the second thread bridge because in this work I'm decreasing all the time. I'm going always under the second thread bridge. Then through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And then backwards through these two. And backwards through these two. Okay. Then I take two. Go under the next thread bridge. Two again, next thread bridge, and continue adding two by two white beads until here the last thread bridge. Okay guys, and I just finished this row with only white columns of beads, nothing difficult. I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this, and as I'm exiting from here, with four white beads for the next row. I go under the second thread bridge. And then backwards through this white. And reinforcement. I'm adding after that two more columns with white beads. Then two columns with black and white And two columns with white beads, with two white beads. Then I start with two white and two black beads and I go under the second thread bridge again. Always go under the second thread bridge with this work. And always reinforce. Then 
then two more columns with black beads and finish the row with three columns of white beads and I'll be back and I finish this row with three columns of white beads if you haven't done this do this and continue and let's continue I have here four white beads again second thread bridge again another column of white beads then a white and a black next thread bridge two whites okay four white beads for the next row second thread bridge and finish this row with three more columns of white beads and I'll be back okay now I need two whites and two blacks again second thread bridge and two rows two columns of two white beads okay then a white and three black beads second thread bridge Here I have only three thread bridges, but still I'm following the rule and I'm going through the second one of them. Then I take a black and a white. then I take four black beads and again I go through the second thread bridge I'm exiting here and going through the second one here are only two thread bridges but it doesn't matter I'm still following the rule and at this point guys I take my earring finding which looks like a fisher's hook at this point and I'm attaching it here and I want to reinforce okay guys and because I took a smaller piece of thread than I recommended in the beginning my thread is over I did it on purpose just to show you if you didn't have enough thread how to add more thread okay if you took one and a half arm span uh, it will be enough for your work but now I want to show how to add more thread okay I'm going here making here a loop and pulling then I'm going through a few beads in this direction and cut 
Now I will put my needle on this end and I'll do the same thing. Okay, and I put my needle here. I go through some beads in this direction and through some more. I go here at the back of my earring. I make here a loop and you could do go one or twice through this loop. Then go through some beads in this direction and cut this tail thread. Okay. Now I'm ready to make the fringes, but I need to take a longer thread. Let's say another um, span of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just took another arm span of thread of nylon nylon thread and I pre-stretch it guys. When you use nylon thread, it's a good idea to pre-stretch it and it is the best, the nylon thread is the best for fringes, okay? Now I want to make here a knot like before. I'm holding this tail thread with my thumb. I'm making a loop here. I'm going twice through the loop that I have. I'm pulling. And I want to go through these three beads in order to be in a position to start the fringes that I want to make. And I cut this tail thread. And I take here, guys, the following sequence for the first fringe. Three black beads, two white beads, three black beads, two white beads, and one black bead. Okay. Now I want to slide this one down. Okay, guys. And now the next step is to skip this black bead. And go through all of the other beads of your fringe. And from two beads from the, the other brick stitch part that we did. Go two beads upwards. In this way, if you pre-stretch your thread and go two beads upwards, you won't have this gap between the brick stitch part and the fringe part. That sometimes shows and it is annoying. Okay. Now I go through the neighbor two beads and I'm in a position to start my next fringe and now I take three black two white beads two black two white two black two white and one black and I'm going to slide it down okay I'll show you one more time how I'm going back and turning around okay I go through all of those beads skipping the final black bead here, the last black. And then I pull. Okay. Then I do the same thing. I go through two beads in this direction. Two up and two down everywhere. Now I will take a much longer sequence here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I took the following long sequence on my needle. Two black and two whites six times and then two black, five whites and one black. Okay, this is what I have. Now I'm going to slide it down. I will go backwards through all of those beads and I will exit here. I will take another long sequence and I'll be back. And as I told you guys, I went back through all of those beads and exited here. And then I took another long sequence and it is one black, two whites, then five times two blacks, two whites, and then two blacks, five whites and one black. You see it written here. 
you could watch from here and pick it up and now uh, I do absolutely the same thing I skip the black one and I go backwards through all of those beads okay I don't want you to watch me all the time doing this I go back and I exit here from the white and I'll be back okay guys and what I have here at my fifth fringe is a black and a white five times two blacks two whites and then two blacks five whites and one black okay I'll skip this one go back to all of those beads exit here from these two central white beads and I'll be back for the central fringe okay guys and what I have here at this central fringe are one white then five times two blacks two whites five times and then two blacks five whites and one black okay I'll go back like this and I'll exit here and I'll be back okay guys and half of my fish skeleton is ready and the other half I'm not gonna be showing it because it is the same so you start from here you add this sequence here this sequence here this sequence here this sequence here and this sequence here okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and when i when i continued making more and more fringes here i am at the last fringe and my fish skeleton is almost ready now what i want to do is to go through some beads in this direction after that i want to make a knot and cut my thread okay i'm making here a loop i'm going twice through the loop i've made i pull then i go through some beads in this direction and i cut this tail thread guys okay guys and now my fish skeleton beaded earrings for halloween are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and also like share and comment this is a great and amazing support i can't thank you enough guys for these actions you might check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now click on the playlist, the Halloween playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.